Hello friends, it's Julie Norman. I'm back again with another planner video. I put out videos on Tuesdays and Fridays. Today we're going to talk about Planner Perfect on a Budget. Now last week I did a video on the unboxing and the options and gasped, yes, $55 for a monthly subscription. I will post the link above so you can see everything in the video. And let's be frank, $55 a month is not affordable for everyone. It is not sustainable for me either, frankly, um, because it comes out to $660 a year. For that price, think what you could do. I would probably buy a new spinning wheel or something or whatever your thing is. But uh, so what do you do if you want this method and you can't afford it? And I have found ways to save money. And that is what this video is about today. So let's think about this differently. When I started using Planner Perfect, it was when I was going into cancer surgery and I was going to have a long recovery period uh, because, you know, it, it, you know they, they took it out an organ and blah, 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 blah. So it was a lot of time, you know, bed rest. And for me, I was thinking $55 a month for a couple months, it's going to be my therapy. And, you know, counseling session, it is probably lower than the pr price of one counseling session. So that's how I justified it. And, you know, if you're going through something major big, you know, people are wanting to help you. And um, some people gifted me some money. So I, I thought, OK, I can do this for three months or whatever I needed to do for the recovery time. And so I'm not saying you want to quit counseling if you're in counseling, but I'm saying, you know, in your mind, you can think about it as, you know, this is a therapy that I need right now. And even if you just try it for one month and that is one way just to you know, justify it in your mind if it works for you. But what if you still can't afford it? And you I mean, there's no justification in the world that will will work if you just don't have the money for it. So just think about it. Uh, what do you really need? Do you want to do the whole Planner Perfect method where you're scripting everything out? Or do you really want the pretty stuff? So if you all you want to do is have do the method and follow her videos, you don't need all the pretty stuff. All you need is a notebook and a pen or a pencil or whatever, you know, you, everybody, most everybody has a notebook and a pencil lying around their house. Right now is back to school sales. You can probably get a notebook for under a dollar, a really nice one. You know, if you want to be fancy, you know, you can buy a pretty pen, you know, you're in for under five bucks. So, and uh, you know, just get, all you need is paper and pen, just boom, you know, a little paper. I get a lot of these, um, I have double cover in here. A lot of these uh, planner or happy planner things for when I on the clearance aisle in Hobby Lobby or online. I do have a link for um, the happy planner discount. They, ha they have a whole clearance section. You can get one of these for cheap too if you want to go up a little bit. So that's all you really need is paper and pen. If you want to do the method, there you go. Saving. You get it under for five, under five bucks, under 10 bucks, whatever. And now you're set with planner. Perfect. But if you're one of the people who say, I really want the pretty stuff, I love the notebooks, I love the paper quality, I want the stickers, I want the tippins, I want the washi. Okay, so if you want all that, then it's, you're going to have to pay a little bit. I'm not going to say it's going to be free. But uh, you, there are ways to save. Now, just going back to the notebook and pen thing, in one of, or a couple of Jenny Penton's video, the, the founder of Planner Perfect, she says that she was inspired with this method watching her mother who used a spiral notebook with a pen. So just so you know, it had humble beginnings, so it does not have to cost a lot of money. So now let's talk about if you really want the pretty stuff, what do you do? So the you can sign up for the Plan and Perfect account online and you can, um, let's see here. If I have a link below for 15% off your first purchase. And then you can at least get the box for $8.25 less, your first one. So it costs $46.75. Shipping is always free on subscription boxes, not always on regular orders. Now, with um, everything in the Planner Perfect box that is included, which is in that video that I linked to, and I don't have everything anymore, which I'll get to, it is basically a value of $115 of all the things that you get into it. So I have this little sticky note. You know, I love these little notes. It's, they were paper planners. Why not have a sticky? I'll stick this here so you can see it better. Let's put it on the rooster. So the journal, excuse my writing, is $20. Monthly plan book, 25. I wrote this on um, some 
rough surfaces. Sorry about that. Washi is $28 for her pack of four or whatever. And they sell often sell it on sale at $24. The stickers are $24 for four sheets or $12 on sale. Tippins are $18 for that pack or $12 often on sale. Comes to $115 if you buy them on sale. It's $93 if you want to purchase it all individual. And you pay shipping. Unless you have a $275 order or more, then you get free shipping, but that's probably when you're going to buy a leather or something. So that is the value that they put on the box. So if you're breaking it down, you get double, over double the amount of what you would buy individually. So it really, if you're going to get all this stuff anyways, you're saving money with the box itself. However, how do you get past that $55, even with my 15% discount? Well, you, there is a reward program. So the reward program is you get points, one point for every dollar you spend. You get 50 points for sharing on Instagram, 50 points for sharing on Facebook. I think you can only do that once or twice or something. Every time you refer a friend, it's 300 points. So yes, if you do use my link, I get 300 points. And that's just, you know, I appreciate it if you use it because it helps me out and it costs the same for you. It's no extra cost. And they do send you a 15% off coupon for your birthday month. And they often have Black Friday deals, but that's not never a guarantee. That's just what they do. Now, it comes out to, um, one, let's see here, 150 points. So let me get out my notebook so I can show you the numbers in real time. So you're not just staring at pictures of stuff. This is a calligraphy double-ended pen, and it's just a bigger tip so I can show you numbers. So for 150 points you get a $5 coupon. For 300 points, you get $10. Or for 500 points, you get $20. And so if this comes out here to 4% off. And that is if you purchase all the points, if you didn't use Instagram, the referrals or whatever, you basically get 4% back off your purchases. And this comes, these money amounts, they come in the form of a coupon code. So you can only use one coupon code at a time on their website. So if they are having other sales, you can't stack them. If you have um, a shipping, free shipping, you unless it's not a code, you know, then you can't use free shipping plus your $20 off. And this is the greatest amount that you can use at one time. So, you know, you can get $20 off. That's nothing to sneeze at. But to get it off on a subscription box, you will need to, you may need to unsubscribe and then resubscribe with your coupon code getting the $20 off. It's a little extra step. I haven't done it a lot, so there might be other easier ways to do it. If you do find an easier way to use a coupon code on your subscription box, let me know. I'd love to hear about it. So that is Planet Perfect's um, setup program for the rewards. So you know, that's one way. And... Um, to do it. So I'm not going to count this in the total because I'm not sure, you know, I don't know how many people are going to want to go back and do the 20. It takes a while to get to the 500 point level for the $20 off. So let's not count that in to this, how I actually do this. And I'm going to turn my note page over because I always have those on. Oops, there goes another magnet. You know, those little magnet. I love those little magnet on the sheets, but they often fall off. So let's get serious about cutting this cost. So one thing about doing this is you'll need to be okay with not keeping everything in your box because you're going to sell the things that you don't love. And that, and you're going to sell them on most likely the Planner Perfect Buy Sell Trade Group on Facebook and I'll link that below. And you'll probably, so of course you're going to need a Facebook account and be in the group and have a way to accept payment. Um, most people use PayPal there. I don't know of other ways, but, you know, if you really want to go do the, the long hallway, you could say, send me a check, you know, whatever. But um, most people have an online way, whether it's Apple Pay or um, PayPal or whatever. So those are the things that in order to do what I'm, I'm you know, going to show you how. And when you, um, I'll show you, th this is all that I kept from my box. I kept the September journal, and I did waffle a little bit about that. I really love this cover better than the other, and I'm going to just make it work even with the, the, the dated pages. 
I figure that I can always go back and, you know, white out these if I need to, make it something different, maybe make a collage here. It might be a kind of a fun structure for a memory page. And I kept two of the washies, two of them are sold, and I also kept the stickers, and I already have them in my sticker book, so all four sticker sheets. So that is what I kept from it. And I just pulled out these um, old tipping cards as an example of something that I no longer have. So that is the the way I did it. And some tips on selling is, you know, you always want to be a good seller. And I always send a PayPal invoice. I get the, tell them to send, my, send them me their email address and I will send them the PayPal invoice because it gives me extra protection in case it goes wrong. And I always um, prompt in communication, clear description, and pricing. So let's go over this pricing. Now, because you're thinking, well, if you're going to resell something that, and it's new, um, don't you have to discount it a little bit? And I would say no, because I've been watching people sell for months on there, and a lot of them don't discount it. And if they do, it's like, really? That's, wow, you, you're, you know, whatever. So for pricing, okay, you can charge full price. And that is why, why the reason why is... Because right now, there is a bigger demand than there is a supply for these items. It, right now, it, it can change. But there are so many people looking for these things that um, they're like, I need this sub box. Anyone got one? And people will say, okay, you can buy my sub box for 50 you know, for what they paid for it. And then you can say, um, the another reason is that um, there's a lot of people coming into Planet Perfect that they just want to try it. And they maybe missed on September. It's already shipped. It ships, you know, before the beginning of the month. So they're like, hey, I missed out. I really want to try it this month. Anybody got something for me? And, you know, maybe they will. Maybe they won't. Um, then also, Planet Perfect is also slow sh is shipping because everything is done um, custom with them. They When they get your order, then they create things. It takes them a little longer to ship, but shipping, you can ship faster. And please do ship faster. When you get the confirmation that the payment goes through, you ship that out within a day or two because that just makes it better for everybody. And I'll have you know that my stuff sold within hours of listing, and I had several people ask, you know, if that doesn't go through, would you um, let me know because I would like to purchase it. So I'm not doing this because, you know, I want to, you know, scourge anyone in pricing, but the people want it right now and they're, they want to pay the price. And, you know, most people there do charge. Some people charge, um, you know, just for the plain journal, they'll charge 24 and I'm like, they're only $20 on the site. So some people charge a little bit more sometimes because of the supply and demand, but I try not to, I try to give a little bit of discount and I always ship things for free in the um, standard U.S. if somebody wants it outside of that. You know, they haven't yet, but I can say we can figure out shipping and just charge extra. Because there are people from out of the U.S. that would like things, and it just takes a long time to ship. All right, so um, also the sub box. They have exclusive items, or they are also limited. And the, like I said in the previous videos, the, the tippins, the washi tape, and the stickers, they are the accessories, and they, when they sell out, they're gone. And they may next year bring some of the things back, but it won't be all the same kit. So in, they'll sell out quickly, and all, everything with Planner Perfect is Jenny's artwork, except the washi of the last few months. And they are going to change that. They said that next month, this is exciting, it's going to be her artwork on the washi tape again. And it's going to be better better quality because I, um, before it just wouldn't stick very well. It was inconsistent. So next month, it was really going to be nice, and I'm, I'm really looking forward to that. Okay, let's go through the math of how I got my down my the price of my subscription box. Now, the subscription box that I got was $55, and that is the biggest box that they, they sell. And I sold my journal with the lady in the cup, plus... I sold the, uh, what did I sell? I am, uh, the tippins. Sorry, I was looking at the wrong notes. And I sold that 
for $35. And that sold within hours. I was like, okay, you know, I figure if it takes more than a day to sell, then I have it priced too high. Now, I because I offer shipping, it was $4.75. And then my PayPal fee was $1.32, but it did give me peace of mind. Because um, if you do the friends and family, you know, gifting, you have new, no recourse if something goes bad. But for $1.32, it's like buying insurance. So that netted me $28.93. Then I looked at the washies and I'm like, these two, the glittery one I was questioning about, and the skinny one, which was the mauve one. I'm not really into mauve a lot. And so I thought, well, I'm going to sell these two, tip, two washi tapes. But... You know, to sell them alone, I don't know about that. So I went through my stack of tippins from the past, and these are the ones I kept. But I pulled out, you know, about 15 tippins, and, you know, it's like it's time to let go of these. And someday maybe I'll let go of more, of more if I don't use them. And plus uh, 15 tippins. And I offered them for $22 and with free shipping. So that sold within, I think, just as soon as I listed it, probably within an hour. So the shipping was $3.95, and the PayPal fee was $95, and I earned $17.10 from that. So that took the total down to $8.97. That's pretty affordable, I would say so. Now, I know that you say, well, I have never gotten a box before, so I don't have 15 extra tippins to sell, which is true. So if I, so without selling these tippins here, I estimate with shipping or whatever, it would have maybe taken me to about $20-ish. And that is still pretty affordable. But the nice thing about this is, as long as you keep your, your supplies new and you just don't mark them up or use them, and I'm not going to set this up till I'm ready, that um, if you find that you're not using it or you find this is not for me, you can sell it. And that is, you know, just think about this as, you know, inventory that is valuable. So that is um, kind of, that's how I did that. And so, yeah, it's about $20, $20 with the PayPal fees. And that is how um, I have justified doing that. My goal is to get my box down to about $20 after selling what I need. It's going to change every month because there may be more things that I like or less things that I like. And so, you know, I don't know, maybe some days, you know, it'll cost me $30. Maybe someday it'll cost me $10 per box after buying it, selling it, and all the expenses. And that is okay because, you know, my I, I'm probably not going to subscribe forever. Um, you know, I love the seasonal ones, especially going into fall. I saw the summer ones. I wasn't so happy with them. They're not really my style. I'm not really into mermaids and seahorses and stuff. We're so far in Montana from any kind of um, beach, except if you call the town a beach in the Dakotas, but that's really not a beach. It's just a town. And so, you know, I was looking forward to the fall. So that is uh, um, my goal. And if it's $20 per month, if I can get it down to averaging that, then that is about $240 a year, which is, you know, still nothing to sneeze at, but it's a little more affordable and palatable for me to do. So that is how I do that. And I'll have all the links below for you to find out and explore. And do use that discount code if you haven't purchased before. Um, and just an update from the giveaway I posted in my previous video about I'm giving away a three month Silk and Saunders subscription, another great uh, product, planner product, which is monthly. And um, another way to save money, because you could use the Planner Perfect method in there, no problem. Um, but I did say that you have to be a subscriber and you have to comment on which of the eight reasons that you liked. Um, there really isn't a way for me to confirm subscribers, so don't worry about that. I would love it if you would subscribe, but it's not required. I can edit the description of that video, but I can't really go back and edit the wording in the video. So just wanted you to let you know the update. So I thank you for coming and watching, and let me know if you're going to try this or if it's still not affordable, and um, just or ways that you save money and justify something that's a little more pricey and. Um, hope you have a joyful day. Goodbye.